Sweden's parliament has passed a temporary pandemic law that allows the government to place legally binding restrictions on many businesses and public places, up to and including closure. The law comes into force on January 10. Just hours after the law was passed, the government announced new measures made possible by the law. Some indoor venues including shops and gyms will have strict capacity limitations imposed, while private events at venues outside the home will be capped at eight people. It marks the latest shift in coronavirus strategy from the Swedish government, which is grappling with a second wave of infections and a health system dangerously close to capacity. 9,433 deaths have been recorded since the pandemic began, a number far in excess of the other Nordic countries combined. The pandemic law gives the government power to impose restrictions on businesses including shops and shopping malls, museums, gyms, restaurants, bars, public transit and premises suitable for private events. Measures could also cover certain outdoor venues such as public parks and beaches. Possible restrictions could include capacity limits, restrictions on opening hours or in the most extreme cases, closure. For the first time in 15 years, Parliament was recalled from its winter recess to debate the bill. We know that COVID-19 is in society and will be here for a long time to come. More specific measures are needed that are possible to maintain over time, said Swedish Health Minister Lena Hollengren. Previously, the government relied on the emergency powers granted by the Public Order Act and the Communicable Diseases Act. However, as the virus returned in the fall, the government said it did not have sufficient powers to introduce the strict measures necessary to control the outbreak. The government has taken immediate action following the bill's approval. From January 10, many indoor venues including shops and gyms must limit the number of visitors to a maximum of one person for every 10 square meters. Additionally, private events will be capped at eight people. This limit doesn't apply in private homes, although Swedes are being encouraged to limit social contacts. We cannot regulate how people move and who they have contact with at home, at the gym or in shops, rather this is where the general recommendations apply, said Public Health Agency General Director Johan Carlsson. The Swedish strategy today is a world away from the country's light-touch approach when the pandemic first struck the country in March last year. Advised by the Public Health Agency, the country's leadership chose to rely on a mix of social distancing guidance and belief that herd immunity would prevent a second wave. It didn't. Time called the strategy a failure in October, a belief shared a few months later by the King of Sweden in his Christmas address to the nation.